This week, I'm going to be using a 4X robot during the election. Now, this can go one of two ways. It's either going to go really well or really sh**. And the reason for that is when there's an election, there's usually quite a lot of volatility in the markets, particularly with the US dollar. So we are going to be trading all week on a 10K account. And the reason I wanted to do this is I wanted to show you that you need to be careful while trading high volume markets like this week will bring. If there's any high impact news going on in the world, you need to keep an eye on the markets because the volume goes crazy. And sometimes it can work in your favor and you can make a lot of profit. Other times you can make a lot of losses. Now the EA that I'm going to be using for this is Forex Fury. I'm going to be running this EA at two different accounts at once. The reason I wanted to do this is Forex Fury says that every month they release new set files to the members. Now this started in July, it is now November. We've only had two set files released, the July and September set files. So what I'm going to be doing is on one account I will be using the July set files and on the other I will be using September just so we can see which set files perform better during high volume markets like we should have this week. Now with the July set files, you only trade on GU and USD JPY. And this is what the settings look like for the GU set file. Obviously both pairs trading USD during a time like this does come with a high risk. This is purely for entertainment. I really would not recommend you do this. If you are gonna trade the election week, it's definitely worth manually trading. It's always worth manually trading anyway. These are the July settings on USD JPY. You see all of these settings there. I'm not going to change anything at all apart from the spread and the slippage. There probably will be high spreads during this time, but I want to be getting into some trades because I want to be able to make a video. So I've increased the spread and the slippage to 2000. Everything else is the exact same. This is the other account. This one is running the set files that were released in September. And with this one, we trade USD JPY, NZD USD, and GU. This is what the settings look like for the USD JPY account. This is what the settings look like for the NZD USD. You see the equity is set at 15%, which is insane. If we get on the wrong side of a big move, then there's a chance that we might actually blow this account or we could make a ton of profit. Who knows what's going to happen? And finally, the September settings for GU. Again, I've increased the spreads and the slippage on all of these accounts just to make sure we take some trades. Otherwise, it's a pretty pointless video. So the EA is ready to go. It's Sunday night. I am going to turn on algo trading in a minute and we'll see how we get on this week. Okay, so let's turn algo trading on on both the platforms and we will see how we get on with these two accounts. Okay, a quick update on the accounts. It is 12.25. These are the September set files. So in five positions on GU, all sell positions. Uh, 0 0.18 and you see we have gotten some drawdown on this i think around minus 120 was the worst that i've seen so far today and um, we haven't actually closed anything yet this is the july set file so we're all around 60 dollars on this one it is a buy position on usd jpy 4.69 is the lot size i did see around 200 dollars drawdown on this one so far so let's just keep our eye on this trade and the other trades that we're in on gu and I'll be back with another update. Okay, another update on the accounts. Today is Tuesday the 6th of November. I think the elections are a few hours away from finishing. And this is what the accounts are looking like. So this is the July settings. And yesterday we closed one trade at a loss of minus $296. That trade was on USD JPY. We are in another trade on USD JPY. This time it is a sell position. And we have gone to some drawdown on this one. I think we're around minus $200 at our worst point. So let's keep an eye on this account throughout the day. This account is running the September settings. So you can see we are in two positions here, both buys, USD JPY. And we are in some profit on those. If you look at closed profit for today, we have lost $286 on buys on GU. And if you look at yesterday as well, we took some more positions again on GU. It was a sell yesterday. 0.18 today was buys and overall we are down at minus 605 dollars so the ea not performing too well this week with all the volatility like i say the election's only for the next couple of hours then we'll see who the new president is and that might have more of an impact on the markets as well but let's just keep an eye out on the account it is only wednesday today so a couple more days trading and i'll keep you updated throughout the day okay a quick roundup of the day it has not gone well this is the September account. We're now down to $9,514. These are the trades that were closed today. So you can see we lost five of the GU trades. 
and then we won five of the USDJPY trades. Even with those winning trades, we did close at a loss of minus $149 which means on this account overall now we're down minus 468. These are the September settings. Again, not good. We're down to $9,070 in the account now. If we look at the trades taken today, it was two sells and both of those sells lost money. We took a 4.53 and a 4.38. And overall, we lost $538, which means on this account now, we have taken three trades and all three have been losers and we're down $834. Now the election is now over, so hopefully we can make some of this money back. But let's just see what the rest of the week brings. It is Wednesday, so <laughs> my dudes. So we'll just keep trading until Friday and then we will see where the accounts are at at the end of the week. Okay, another update on the accounts. Things are not going well. So these are the September settings. We are in one position at the minute, a sell on USDJPY. We are in profit on that one, but if we have a look at what we've closed today, we have lost $290 on these sells on GU, which means overall for this week, we are down $758, so pretty bad. And then if we look at the July settings, these are even worse, so Today we took one trade, a buy on USDJPY, 4.25 lot size, lost $200, which means for this week we have taken four positions and each one of them has lost. We've lost $1,000 and our account balance is now at $8,838. So not good, not good at all, but it is what it is. Let's just see what the rest of the week brings. Okay, a final update for the week. It is Friday now, 2 p.m. It has not gone well at all. We have been taking horrible trades all around. This account is the September settings. Now with this one, you do open multiple positions at once, which if you get on the right side of the move, works in your favor. If you get on the wrong side of the move, it's catastrophic. So these are the trades that were taken. You can see on the first day, we took sells on GU, all of which lost. On the 6, we took buys on GU, all of which lost. Also on the 6, we did take buys on USDJPY, now they won. And then the 7th, we took sells on GU, all of those lost. We took one position on USDJPY on the 7th as well. That one was in profit. Not sure why we only took one, we usually take five, but either way, we made profit on that one. And then today, we have taken buys on GU and all of those positions lost. So we lost a thousand dollars on this account. So obviously this was a stupid idea, but at the end of the day, I wanted to make this video for entertainment purposes, but as well as that, to show you how careful you need to be in general, if you trade EAs, but particularly if you're trading an EA during such a high volume week like this, you can see the volume graph at the bottom of my MT5 here. When the six came around, it was just going crazy. If you look at around 30th of October and how little volume is in the market compared to the 6th, which was election day. July settings, mainly trading USD JPY, but we have taken one position on GU and one on NZD USD. On the 5th, we took one position, 4.69 lot size, lost $296. On the 6th, we took a sell, 4.53, lost 297. Again, on the 6th, we took another sell on USD JPY, this time at a 4.38, lost $241. On the 7th, we took a buy position on USD JPY, 4.25 lot size, we lost $201 on that. We took a buy on USD JPY on the 8th, 4.21 lot size, lost 903. Now with GU, we are risking 15% equity. Like I said at the start of the challenge, I haven't changed any of the settings at all. USD JPY uses 3% equity, and I'm guessing the reason for that is it takes trades more often. GU only traded once, and that was today. Maybe that's why it takes 15% because it trades less often. Now, 15% per trade is ridiculous. Obviously, you need to be lowering that if you are going to trade this EA for real. I wouldn't even trade 3% to be honest with you, but either way, that GU trade that we took, 7.77 lot size, that was today, which is the 8th. We lost $1,274 on that. Then our winning trade, <laughs> we have had a winner. NZD USD sell position, 4.14 we made $828 and that was today. So we've taken seven trades, six of them were losers and one of them was a win. So like I say, this video purely for entertainment, also to give you a heads up that if you are gonna be trading EAs on a week like this, just be careful. Things like this can happen pretty quickly. Obviously only ever trade money you can afford to lose. In the meantime, 
focus on manual trading. That's what I'm doing. I've got some manual trading videos coming up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. I've just started a new challenge and it's going really well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.